What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Light Source and Gravy. I'm Patrick, your host, and I've been absent for a few weeks. I've been under the weather, trying to get medications adjusted around, and then I'm getting ready to go to New Orleans, and I come down with flu A, and it sent me to bed for three days straight, and then I finally started to recover on Friday, started feeling better yesterday, and today, I'm going to finish up this video that I started about two weeks ago. So what we're going to be doing today is some white tile painted black and I painted it black with this bare. It is bare premium black mat. There's no particular reason why I use this. It's just what I had laying around and it was black. So I sprayed the tiles let them set for 24 hours to fully cure and then brought them to the UV laser and engraved them. So what I'm going to show you are some of the things that I do with the image manipulation within Lightburn. And then I'll show you some video of the engravings and then I'll show you the UV settings and the photo adjustment settings, which I'll cover along the way as well and get you started. So you can give this a try for yourself. And I'll be using a Hotian 5 watt UV laser. I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can pick up one of those for yourself. And that's all I have. So let's just jump right into what I'm going to share with you with Lightburn and some image stuff. So the first thing I did is I went to chat GPT and I asked it for an image of a laser engraving an image on a tile, on a black tile. And this is what I got. So I copied this image, pasted it right into Lightburn. And I did ask for a square image. So now all I have to do is take this and bring it down to the size that I want. These tiles are 100 by 100, so I'm gonna make it 90. And here we have our first tile. Then I go to adjust image and I came up with this setting for the UV white tile black, and it seems to work fairly well across all the images that I'm going to show you today. And what it does, it runs a line interval of point, uh, 0.03 in Stucky mode, bumps contrast up 5, decreases the brightness, gamma 1.1, enhance 4, enhance amount 250. So you can try this out for yourself and see how that works for you. But that's the adjustment I'm going to apply to every image. So first we have the ChatGPT generated image of a laser engraving an image on a tile. So let's run that first. Okay, we've ran our image of the tile being engraved by laser engraver. And I thought, let's take this one step further. So I took this picture while it was engraving. You can see there it's about three quarter of the way finished. And I got a little bit of the camera in there that shows it being engraved. So we got a lot of stuff going on in this image. And I just took this picture add a square ratio with my phone. So now we can take this down to 90. What I'm gonna do is hit P to center. And then I'm gonna to go to adjust image and I'm gonna apply the exact same preset, UV white tile black. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna frame this get it lined up and run this image.
the first image that actually prompted this project is this one. I was asked to see if a UV laser could do an image on tile painted black and how it would turn out. So this was the first image that I did. And it looked pretty good. So I thought, let's make a quick video and see what happens. So first tile was completed. So here is the image of a laser engraving an image on a tile. I think you can see that turned out pretty good. I do like the matte black. It seems to perform very well. Now, how about the image of the UV laser engraving the image of the image on a tile? So this is inception level engraving, right? So you can see the image on the tile that's being engraved. You can see the image in the camera. You can make out all the details on the laser and the laser bed. So I was pretty happy with that. That turned out pretty good. So then I was thinking, let's do a few more examples just to see how this preset works across the board. So Easter's coming up. I thought, let's do an Easter Bunny. So I just Googled for Easter Bunny free picture and came up with this picture I'll show you now. So here we have the Easter Bunny. Applied the same adjustments to the Easter Bunny. And we came up with this. So he's got some good detail in the fur. See the eggs. Looks pretty good. So not bad. And then I decided to search for an HD wallpaper of a scene from West Virginia. So this is the scene I came up with uh, from the free wallpapers. Now, what I'm gonna do to adjust this is I'm gonna make the longest measurement, whether it's the width or the height, equal my 90. So I'm gonna take the height down to, uh, no, I'm gonna take the shortest one, sorry. Take the width down to 90. So I know the width is good. I'm gonna hit P to center that. And then I have a 90 by 90 template here. So I'm gonna control C, control V, and then hit P to center. And then we can adjust this up and down as to where we want it, want to capture this image. Once we adjust that up and down, we get it where we want it. So let's say we want a little less of the sky and a little more of the rocks. So I'm gonna move it down. And then what I'm going to do is grab both pieces, right click, and hit apply mask to image. Then I'm going to right click again and flatten image mask. So now we have the perfect 90 by 90 image that we can now engrave on our tile. Adjust image, go back to my preset, UV white tile black, hit OK. And there we go, we have it adjusted, we're ready to burn it. Where the mountains touch the sky There's a state with a story Oh, it's a wonder to the eye From the days of old Virginia To a statehood born in war West Virginia, mountain mama We couldn't love you more oh. And to show you what that looks like We have the sunset setting And then I thought, let's do something else. 
So for my buddy Rich, the L.A. hobby guy who's down in Louisiana, I decided let me get a picture of New Orleans. So I found a free pic floating out there on the interwebs of a scene from New Orleans. So let me show you that. And I did the same process, cropped the image, or made an image mask, 90 by 90, flattened it, adjusted the image, let's see, with the same preset, nothing's going to change because it's already adjusted, and then proceeded to burn this image. Now, let me roll in some footage of that, let you check that out. So pay attention to the lights down here and the lights from the car and then the lights in the street and you can even read the signs here. What I found is this preset creates a really nice vintage black and white photo type look. on some of these pictures so you can adjust these settings and adjust the presets to get the look that you're going for but i think this looks really cool and i'm very happy with those so let me so let me roll in some footage of all these side by sides so you can get a nice comparison in some uh, brighter light and you can check those out And now let's go to the settings. So the name doesn't matter there. So for this five watt UV laser with a 150 millimeter lens, I'm running a speed of 300, frequency of 80, Q pulse of five, bi-directional, a negative image because we are exposing the white underneath. Line interval 0 0.03, image mode Stucky. And that is it for the settings. So all you need are those settings, copy those down and use those as your starting point and you should produce similar results with a similar laser. And it, one of the variables will be how thick you put your paint on, how many coats you apply and how consistent those, consistent those coats are. So keep that in mind, different painting techniques will produce varying results. So you need to be as consistent as possible when you're trying to reproduce same results all across multiple tiles but that is it in a nutshell for using a 5 watt uv laser to engrave on white tile painted black so head on over to the laser makers around facebook page i'll leave a link in the description and if you try this out post some pictures and let us see them uh, we might even show them on our next live stream and uh, pick some other pictures so you can show anywhere on that Facebook page. And we'll try to pull some up and show them in our live streams and let other folks know what you guys are up to in the Facebook group. Thank you so much for channel members and patrons and for everybody being patient with me while I'm trying to get back into fighting shape. Um, feel much better today than in the last probably three or four weeks. So that's a good thing that's a positive and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or concerns or if you have any other techniques that you want me to try out with the uv laser fiber laser diode laser co2 laser anything if you have any suggestions let me know i will try to get to all the comments in a timely fashion and i've got a few weeks of comments to catch up from which i'm going to be working on that today so 
Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate you. And most importantly, everyone, have a great day. And I will definitely see you in another one.